the best $20 that you can spend on gaming right now is this. It's called Scum. It's early access. They are onto something big. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. Scum, what is it? Well, I am impressed. Now, this might so sound uh, ironic coming from a Star Citizen backer, but I don't usually back early access games. I like playing a finished, polished product. But I saw one of our streamers, uh, Maya, play this uh, for a couple of minutes, and I thought, this looks interesting. Let me give it a shot. For 20 bucks, why not? I am so impressed. All right, for early access, it runs pretty damn well. Now, it is unoptimized, and it's a bit taxing on my system. I've got a, 97, a GTX 970. I had to drop the details down to medium. Uh, I'm not getting the best frame rates, but it's beautiful. I mean, check this out. I mean, I just spawned now on a mountainside, and it rained a bit, so my clothes are a bit wet. Uh, speaking of wetness, when your clothes are wet, they are heavier. When your clothes are heavier, you move slower. There is so much detail. Well, let me tell you why I like this and why I think this is going to be big. First of all, I'm a bit of a Walking Dead fan, and uh, one thing I've wanted for the longest time is a game I could play which kind of had that uh, feel in it, and so far, this is it. Now, the, I saw a zombie walking down there a second ago, and uh, I don't want to give you too many spoilers, so let me take a couple of steps back and face this direction. Oh, there's a zombie right there, and he's walking t right towards me. For the sake of this video, let's skip that and let me uh, sprint up the mountain here. But let me say, in the two or three hours I've put into Scum so far, I'm very impressed and I like where this is going. So why is this different? Why is this any different from, say, PUBG? And I know you're saying this probably looks very PUBG-ish. Well, there's a very, very strong survival aspect in here. And let me just pull up the screen where the magic happens first of all inventory very standard if you've played PUBG or any kind of similar game you recognize all this right away it works uh, as you would expect but here is where the magic happens look at this it is beautiful if you thought that pooping was not important in a game you have never played scum before there is so much happening. Now, I know it seems overwhelming at first, but let's start off uh, at the top left-hand side here, obviously. Your heartbeat, your blood pressure, your oxygen levels, your lung capacity, your temperature. When it is cold and raining, your temperature drops. When your temperature drops, it affects your stamina and your speed. So many things. Now, when you do start the game off, it does let you choose some uh, perk points to begin. Uh, I try to specialize in melee weapons and handguns. But I have seen people max out boxing in the beginning. Now, boxing is actually important. Uh, you get to choose your age. The older you are, the more perks go towards intelligence. The younger you are, the more stamina you have. Teeth number. I don't know why that's there, but I can just assume that if you get punched in the mouth enough, you could probably have trouble chewing, which could affect your metabolism and eating. That's on the other side of the screen. We'll get there in a second. Uh, but it's all there. Uh, it is so interesting to see the angle the direction they've gone with this uh here we go move to the right all right now i've had a couple hours in so i've used 3,000 calories uh i've taken in 7,000 calories uh protein carbs fats fiber water sugar intake right now you can see my character is if you look at the bottom left hand side my energy levels are zero so if i had to find a candy bar and eat that, it would take my fast calories up very quickly, my sugar's up. And there's more slow-burning calories, like if I found some oatmeal, for example, or tree bark, if I could eat that. But it's all in there. It is so uh, complicated. Well, it looks complicated, but your vitamins, A, B1, B2, D, I don't have, I don't have enough D. Look at that. It's at zero. <laughs> EK, calcium, iron, magnesium, your zinc, yeah, it's all in there. Right now, my stomach volume is zero. I am hungry. I have nothing going through my intestines. My colon volume, yes. When your colon is full, you, how should I say this politely, have to vacate your bowels and your bladder. You actually have to pee. This is the only game I know where it's actually essential to go to your toilet chair and uh, piss and poop. And I guess vomit if your stomach, if you overate or if there's something you ate which was bad, I guess you can vomit too. 
But that's how in-depth this is, and I'll tell you why I like this. I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, and I've been looking for a game which can give me that zombie survival feel. But at the same time, there's a lot of PUBG in this too. I think, and I am hope I'm right for this, because I think they've done a great job for early access. It's amazing. The PUBG crowd, those who are not going to Fortnite, who may be getting tired of the whole Battle Royale nonsense... <laughs> might migrate to a game like this because not only is there the the pvp part which is very much pubg ish but on top of that there's a massive massive survival part with everything i showed you uh right now i'm hungry and my energy levels are low so before my health starts dropping i need to go find food so i'll scavenge around and find something uh but before i go i'll need to craft something right so crafting look i don't want to give too much away let me just leave it here as far as crafting goes. You, you, find, you make a stone knife. From a stone knife, you want to make some wooden spears. Start with that at the basics. Uh, the reason I don't want to give too much away, and this is just my personal preference when I jump into a game, is the exploration part is important to me. Speaking of exploration, check this out. This map is massive. And this is just the map they're starting with. I don't know how much expansions they have planned or different areas, but this is really, really big. I am that triangle in square number C1, and if I face to my east, you can see there's some sort of settlement down there. Uh, I'm facing it right now. There it is in the distance, and I can see further to east, there's a bigger settlement. Naturally, as you would expect, you'd find certain things in settlements like weapons, clothing, food. So I'll be making my way to this first one, although I do think this is a military base. I don't want to give away what you'll find there. But there is something there that you should not be attempting to uh, challenge right as you start the game. So I will probably not go there. But I don't want to give it away. I want you to enjoy the exploration aspect of this first. Uh, I know it's going to be easy to simply Google location with best drops. But try not to do that. Find your way through first uh, before you start Googling the easy ways to get things done. You will not regret it. I am really enjoying this. In fact, we're starting our own server at scum.test.gg so if you want to play some scum some pvp and some multiplayer get in oh it's single player and multiplayer which is great because sometimes i just want to get some single player survival going uh so yeah both single and multiplayer so far in the couple hours i have in i have nothing bad to say and if this is early access it's really going to be good so let me know have you played scum yet if yes post below let's get some gaming done here if not it's only 20 bucks give it a shot so far, I'm liking everything I see. Thumbs up if you played this game or if you're interested. Comments below. I'll see you in Scum.